Today we're going to be talking about Goodhart's Law, which is when a measure becomes a target, it ceases to be a good measure. The reason we're going to be talking about Goodhart's Law is because this really exemplifies why large companies like to switch things up every few years. The reason they do that is because people learn how to game the system because that's essentially what's going on here. Employees and their frontline managers typically want to push ahead and get as big a raise as possible for their people, and then higher up the chain, they want to keep the budgets down so that there can be more profitability for the overall business. And you can kind of see how these are going to be at odds. And after a few years, the employees and their frontline managers, they figure out how to game the system, so to speak, and so it's time for things to move. So maybe you're on a yearly schedule, you know, you're gonna do a yearly performance review and then it's gonna turn into quarterly or you're gonna change the system and then you're gonna have to go do all your goal stuff again. Whatever it is, this is not something that is only happening inside your organization. This is something that happens within all big organizations. So you're not alone when this happens to you and it's done purposefully, not nefariously. Again, they're looking out for the best needs of the business here, but when you don't have control or influence over things, you shouldn't have too much concern with them. Just like when you're already operating inside of some performance review framework, you need to learn how to optimize your position every time you go and interact with it. To this end, you need to have a good relationship with whoever is reviewing your performance review. So your frontline manager, you need to have a very good working relationship with that person. And if you don't, you really need to take pause and figure out how you can either mend that relationship or move to a different manager. So if you're working yourself to the bone and not even getting an attaboy, that's not gonna be great for your emotional long-term well-being, and it's really not gonna be great for your bank account. As I previously said on this channel, when it comes to negotiating for your salary, the best time to do it is when you are first getting that job. The second best time for you to negotiate is every single day. You need to think of how you perform and how you act every single day as further negotiations for your salary, your level that you're at, whatever it is. And if the company that you're at does not respect that over the longer term, you can go move somewhere else and know that you have marketable skills because you've been working on it every single day. You see how this is a much more empowering mindset than just saying, oh, I'm just gonna work myself to the bone. Oh, they don't like me. Oh, they never give me raises. This negative mindset's really not gonna be great. And you're really gonna turn people off around you at work. So just having a negative Nancy or negative net around is not gonna be great for team coercion and that could also be holding you back. So think of how ironic that could be, that your actions and the way that your attitude affects others around you could be the thing holding you back. There's some food for thought for you if you might be that person. And if you're sticking around this channel, having some emotional intelligence in the form of self-awareness, just that little spark of self-awareness when you're starting to catch yourself doing something that might not be the best for you long-term is the first step so you can start to regulate it better. You should drop me a comment down below on what system you were on and what you moved to and how you were able to optimize your position over the long term when it came to your performance review. This is an interesting one where, you know, moving from quarterly to annually, whatever, whatever it's gonna be, right? It doesn't really matter. What needs to happen is you need to make sure you're on the same page with your manager when it comes to your goals and you're able to get buy-in from the people that are giving you the work to where you are actually getting credit for everything. And if you're not getting credit for everything, what are you doing? You really need to be paying attention to this because if you're working and someone else is taking credit for your work, that's not gonna help you long-term and you're just being taken advantage of. So wake up. So you better be careful what sort of goal things you start measuring because if you turn it into a target, then it won't be a good measure anymore. If you wanna keep going with IQ content, I got a playlist for you up here. Or if you already moved to emotional intelligence or EQ, got a playlist for that right down here or you can keep doing exactly what you've been doing. But you should expect the same results you've been getting.